Hello, I'm Graham. Welcome to Thought for the Day. I'm speaking to you from St Peter's Church in Portishead, where we've recently celebrated its 700th birthday. The boat you can see is one of the beautiful art installations that were created specifically for this special time in the life of our church. Its design makes us think of St Peter stepping out onto the water to walk towards Jesus. The actual anniversary should have been back in 2020, but the pandemic meant that the celebration date had to be changed. We live in a world of constant change. Some very welcome, such as advances in medicine, in communication and technology, and some not so welcome, like climate change and COVID. The pace of that change seems to quicken as each day passes, or perhaps that's just me getting older. I keep thinking, when this is all over, things will get back to normal. But deep down, I know that's not quite true. Every moment that God gives us, we change in one way or another. The other day, I came across the Serenity Prayer, which many of you may know. It's by the theologian, Reinhold Niebuhr. And it goes, O oh God our Heavenly Father, grant to us the serenity of mind to accept that which cannot be changed. Courage to change that which can be changed. And the wisdom to know the one from the other. By serenity of mind, I believe he means inner peace, tranquility to enable us to truly accept the situation. The way it is, that's the way it is. There are some things we can't change. We cannot change the past. We can't change what people think, though we may try to influence this. We sometimes need courage to change. I, for one, hate it when the time comes to learn how to use a new phone or a new computer. The trick, of course, is to identify what can and should be changed and what cannot. We might regard things like climate change, world poverty, war and famine as out of our control. But that's actually not the case. Each and every one of us can make changes in our own lives, large or small, that can have a very positive effect. Just switching a light off or putting a bit less water in the kettle has a knock-on effect. But we can all do something. Choosing to walk or cycle instead of driving. Contributing to charities such as Christian Aid. They're all bigger opportunities. The possibilities are pretty endless really. Lots of small contributions, when added together, make a significant difference. So don't be deterred. Most importantly, we can all pray. All our prayers are heard. In his sermon last Sunday, Simon, our preacher, said that we can change the world one action 
and one attitude at a time. I feel that we can all take this as a message of hope. But if you're still feeling overwhelmed by all these issues, let me read from St Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, where he's, he's urging them to persevere in spreading the good news. And he says, The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. If I may, I'd like to suggest a final line to that serenity prayer we spoke earlier. And I'll leave you for this to reflect on. It would go something like this. Lord, we pray that you will strengthen us when we have to confront change. Empower us to see it as an opportunity rather than an obstacle. Go well.